Hello guys, this is Leaf for Speed Corner. Many people when creating mods with Gen Black have a problem with uh, mirrors. They are not working properly. Many times right or left mirror is actually the mirror of the um, second mirror and so that it is not mirror at all. And in general they are not working as they should work. So in this tutorial I will show you how to make properly working mirrors when you are making your car mode with Gen Black. So let's move on to 3ds Max. Let's open our model. In this case I will I will work also on the Audi S1 model as in the previous tutorial. I stretched uh, for this tutorial my mirrors a bit so that they will cover the area a bit better. So for now they look like this and the first thing you need to do is to create a rectangle that covers our two mirrors. It is very important to leave two mirrors, not only one and then mirror it in gen black or anything. There should be, there must be two mirrors in our model. So let's go to create geometry and let's select plane with one length segments and five five width segments and let's make this plane that covers our two mirrors so let's go a little 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 above our upper or uh, lower uh, end of the mirror let's move on to the the edge of our mirror and let's stretch it to the second mirror to make something like this and in general, <laughs> mirrors work in the same way as uh, tileable texture, so that these five segments represent the five full uh, textures of our mirrors. So this is first mirror texture, second, third, fourth, and fifth. And what's interesting for us is this second part. But at first we need to make these uh, rectangles square, as all textures in Leaf for Speed are square. There are many ways, I'll show you one of the easiest way to create uh, this. We need to select our plane. Let's go to Modify uh, tab. And here we have our length and width parameters. Uh, this width parameter corresponds to the whole plane and length to this, also to the whole plane and we need to make the width the same as length of each uh, segment so we need to open calculator and make to make this uh, segment square we need to uh, divide this width by 5 as there are 5 segments so we hit 1.661 and divide it by 5 so it gives us this number <laughs> in this particular case and let's move and uh, type it so it's 3322 and as you can see the plane became square each, each segment of the plane became square so now let's convert our plane into Editable mesh. Whoops, that's the problem. <laughs> Into editable mesh, and let's detach our middle segment of this object, and let's name it, let's say, middle. So this will be our mirror texture, as well as this, 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 and this. <coughs> and each mirror texture has its left mirror texture actually and right mirror texture so the left part is for left mirror and the right part is for right mirror as you can see these mirrors are actually cover almost whole right mirror texture and left mirror texture this stuff which is uh, upper or lower actually doesn't have reflection so that's why we need to make it square and if you have 
our square and mirrors this is not needed we can for now let's say disable it and that's all the stuff we need to make our uh, mirror so now let's oops let's export our model of course to object file let's paste our object that we already exported and let's open our script of course we need to go to model 1 and 0 load our object and position 0 is very important as, as uh, of course we have two mirrors instead of one and next we need to create a new object I name it as a mirror and add this middle segment this thing to our script and attach texture to it and mirror texture is uh, S line and mirror of course single front and that it covers whole texture so it comes from 0 to 15 next step is to delete this object with our square uh, middle section and the next is to add th this object which corresponds to our two mirrors I named it as mirror ok so in our script this is mirror ok and the next thing is to save our script compile it let's put it into the game and open to see if the the mirrors are working properly. I created small layout to show you that the mirrors are actually working as they should. So here I have uh, on the left side of the car two red lines with speed limit signs, and on the right side of the car there are white uh, lines with also these mirror signs and uh, that. I will move the car a bit to the front so that you can see the lines and as you can see on the left mirror there are there is mirrored uh, view with red lines as they are on the left and on the right mirror there are right objects with a white line so the mirrors are working are working correctly and there are no problem with all these problems connected with <laughs> what people say about making mirrors with gen black this method is I think the best if you have any problems or questions regarding this matter feel free to ask good luck bye